We are discussing the need to fight the increase of anti-Semitism and anti-Muslim hatred. On Monday, you blocked the debate about the UN's highest court ruling that the Israelis were putting an entire predominantly Muslim population at risk of genocide. Looking at Germany may help us understand this contradiction. It arms Israel and it supported their defeated case at the ICJ. It materially and politically supports genocide of Muslims in Gaza. At the same time, in the name of fighting anti-Semitism at home, 30% of events cancelled due to suspected anti-Semitism are actually anti-Zionist events organised by Jewish people. In the fight against anti-Semitism, German police forces are kicking down doors and beating Muslims in the street for speaking out against the genocide of their own people in Gaza. Anti-Muslim hatred is clearly state-mandated, while anti-Semitism is being brandished as a stick to attack those who speak out against the crimes of Europe's Zionist colonial project in Palestine. Not a lot has changed in the past century.